Hi, uh, today I'll be talking about the number four reason why everyone should practice meditation. The number four reason why everyone should practice meditation is because meditation uh, allows us to overcome uh, all sorts of mental sickness. Now we have to understand what we mean here by mental sickness. We're not talking about those things which lead people to enter psychiatry wards or insane asylums. We're talking about states of mind which are um, understood by people to be uh, some sort of mental distress or disease. So when we understand disease in this sense, we understand it as dis-ease, as not being at ease. So this could be from all sorts of uh, uh, states like depression or, uh, or stress, uh, anxiety, all of these things which actually nowadays people are trying to find medication as a solution. They're trying to use pills, they're trying to use uh, sometimes therapy or, or trying to find all sorts of external ways of uh, removing these mental conditions and they never go at the root which is in the mind. So in the meditation practice we understand that the, 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 the great thing about meditation is that we don't ever have to take medication for something which is purely mental. Uh, states of mind like depression, stress, anxiety, insomnia, all of these states which we tend to go to see a, a, a clinical therapist for or a, a clinical doctor for, we can actually remove on our own. And this is one thing that, that people maybe don't ever realize that they have this incredible tool which allows you to get rid of things like insomnia, depression, stress, anxiety, worry, fear, phobias in, in, in really a very short time and, and uh, on a very real and profound level. That actually when we, when we practice meditation, creating this clear thought, it uh, creates a, a sort of series of mind states which come to be a new uh, way of looking at the world. So instead of looking at things as stressful, um, instead of looking at our situation as depressing, uh, instead of looking at something as fearful, we simply see it for what it is. If it's something we're afraid of, when we say to ourselves, seeing, seeing, uh, hearing, hearing, or thinking, thinking, or even liking, liking, or afraid, afraid, that mind state disappears and it doesn't then continue. Uh, it doesn't become a tendency or become a habit. We get this new habit in our mind of seeing things simply as they are. When we are depressed, we have a situation which is depressing. We simply say to ourselves, thinking, thinking, disliking, or stressed, or so on. We remind ourselves of the true nature of it and we don't give it the power to create this mental sickness, a mental disease, or mental upset, however you want to call it, this state of depression which can actually lead people to kill themselves. Actually, if people were to practice meditation, there would be no, there would be no need to ever uh, consider to try to end your life. There would be no idea that something was unpleasant or something was, was bad or depressing. Uh, states of, like insomnia, people who suffer from insomnia. I've had many people who have cured themselves of insomnia, lifelong insomnia in a week of meditation. People who have been alcoholics uh, are able to cure themselves, give up alcoholism, give up drugs, give up all sorts of addictions, all sorts of states uh, which we would normally consider to be a, uh, a sort of a mental sickness or a mental disease which we go to see a doctor for. We can actually cure by ourselves or with the help uh, if not by ourselves, at least with the help of a qualified meditation teacher. Uh, so this is the number four reason why everyone should practice meditation. Not just those people who are suffering from clinical depression, but those people who suffer from these general um, sense of, uh, of disease or, or, or discomfort, uh, which arises really for everybody. So thank you for tuning in. This is number four, and uh, please look forward to the, the rest of my videos in the future. Thanks.